What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Open C View with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about gradients as well as edge detection. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We are already have um, basically some stuff going on in, in here that we really don't actually need anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this basically to here. So if you're just now following along, uh, go ahead and you can go to, you can either copy and paste this code, it's really not that much code in all honesty. Uh, or you can, um, and in fact we don't even need the HSV. Or you can go to pythonprogram.net, go to this tutorial, and just copy and paste to start off. Now, uh, so we've got uh, the nothingness that we don't care about in our frame. And now we're going to, um, let's go ahead and first we'll just do a the laplation. So laplation equals CV2. Should have kept some of that image show. Anyway, laplation, it's hard to spell. Uh, we're gonna apply that to the frame and use cv2.cv underscore 64f. That is just data type. I might not even have to specify that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's default. And let's go ahead and cv2.mshow, uh, and then we'll call this def, I don't know, original, and then comma frame, and then we'll go cv2.mshow, and then we'll do lapilation, and lapilation. Cool, that should be good. So we'll run that. And there we have our Lapalation uh, gradient that is applied here. Um, now, uh, basically this is a gradient that would go kind of both ways. Now a lot of times you've got an X gradient or a, like a Y gradient basically. So we can go ahead and add those as well. So let me go ahead, let's, uh, it looks like a, like a really bad TV. Maybe you guys don't remember. You know, anybody remember when you had like a satellite and it would uh, like the snowy channels, but you could just like barely make out some people sometimes if your signal was like okay-ish. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so we got Lapalation and then we're gonna do Sobel X. Back in my day, we had snowy TVs. Anyway, uh, CV2 Sobel, and then we're gonna apply that Sobel. Uh, to the frame and then we're going to say cv2 dot basically this exact same data type and then one zero and then k size will be five that's your kernel size and let's just copy this okay so this is basically x y so then we flip these around zero one so y and this will give you basically like your directional sort of intensity with gradients so we'll take this, paste, paste, so we'll x, 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 y, and y. So we'll save and run those, and there you have your gradients. Okay, so one is a vertical and one is more horizontal gradient, um, as you can probably see here, and then one is just in general. So with Lapalation, actually, really all these gradients, especially if you converted to grayscale first, and then applied these gradients, you you can kind of start to derive some information. So these gradients can be used for directional intensity in some cases, but there I kind of think there's better options out there. Uh, but you can use them, and especially like this Lapalation one, uh, you can see edges really well, and so you can start to define edge detectors based on these, but you don't need to, because there are already edge detectors edge detectors built in. So let's close that out, open or close that and go back to our script. And what we're interested in now is uh, an edge detector. Now there are multiple edge detectors out there, but we're going to use the canny edge detector. So we're going to come down here and we're going to say the edges equals cv2 dot canny. We apply it to the frame and we'll use a 100 by 200 here. Uh, and then we will show edges, edges, and here is basically we just modified one of them. But this this gives you like a bunch of edges, um, 
based on a certain region, basically. So, like, what if we, um, what if we change this to, uh, let's do like 50 and 50. Okay. So you can see based on a much smaller, uh, size here, we've got a lot of noise happening. So we don't want that much noise. So let's try maybe, maybe, uh, let's try a hundred by a hundred, but maybe you want that much noise, you know? Uh, like for example, if I hold up my arm, you can see a lot of my hair shows up uh, on the edge detector. Um, and a lot of my head hair does and my facial hair shows up. Um, but if you want less edges and like the more important kind of edges, you can do 200 by 200 or even um, like 100 by 200. Let me show that. Okay, so, but we're still losing some of that screen up top or the um, picture up there. It's actually, I guess we kind of, this is like the reflection of my light, I suppose. Interesting. Anyway, um, and another thing to note with uh, the edge detection, as you can see that there's a dog bed in the background and it's got kind of like a, a shadow coming off of it and it's, it acts like that's an edge. Not only is it an edge, but because that shadow continues, it's almost like it's overlapping the dog bed that's actually, I mean, the shadow is overlapping it, but it's obviously nothing is actually overlapping that dog bed. So that's kind of interesting. I'm surprised I can't get like a decent, like it's either a lot of noise or we lose some stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, probably 100 by 200 is the best one. Anyway, I think that's pretty cool. Like the little edge detection uh, for detecting edges on stuff is actually, I think that's pretty cool. Um, Anyway, uh, that's it for image gradients and all that. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be talking about template matching. Basically, if you have an image of something, you can match it. As long as you have a relatively almost identical match, it's actually really quick, really easy in the code to match it in, a, in amongst a much larger image. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next tutorial. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever about this tutorial, leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time.